In this video, we're going to look at some basic language constructs with regards to Ruby. So what a language construct is, it's a different structure syntax-wise in a language and probably a bunch of new terms there. So let's, let's look at that. Syntax is just how the different instructions of a program work. Certain languages have certain ways things have to go. With Ruby, you see some pretty typical Ruby here. Uh, it's pretty simple. You have different kind of uh, keywords, and there's no termination at the end. Ruby just kind of recognizes by parsing this line out properly what's an instruction and what's an argument for an instruction. And if you're used to other languages, you'll notice there's no semicolon or other character at the end to close out that line. So, in our simple little hello program that we've looked at in other programs, I'm just going to talk in brief about some of these constructs that you see here, and in other videos we'll cover them more in depth. So this simple one here has just several little what are called method calls. The first one here is print, and print is defined somewhere in the Ruby system, and we'll see in other videos how you define methods, but it's defined, given a name print, and it accepts is argument right here in this case it's a string and its function is to print that out to probably like the council or something like that so that's pretty typical pattern for how a method call is constructed where you have the method name and then some argument or arguments there could be multiple arguments after it you can enclose this in parentheses if we want we can go ahead and, and put this in here and it's going to work just the same and if you have multiple arguments you might want to do that just to keep it clean and looking nice. I'm going to skip this one for a second. Come down here, puts is another method call and again you have this thing here going on, this is an argument and without getting real over your head right away, essentially this is one argument. Ruby's smart enough to look at this and go, oh, they're taking hello string and concatenating together with this name, which would be a string too. And so it's one argument that gets sent off to puts here. So the thing to understand with methods is that it is essentially sending the object a message. And in the case of like puts here, it's pretty much the Ruby system itself is that you're sending a message of saying, hey, put this out, puts. So I, these are pretty similar in how they work also on, you know, they're the same method call. Now let's jump up back to this one here. You actually have two constructs going on here. And let's look at this one right here. This is actually a method call called gets that gets a string from the command line. And we already seen this demonstrated in other videos. Uh, I could show it in this video. In fact, let's go ahead and, and do that real quick here. Let me navigate to my project, if I can remember where it is. Okay, so we're in our direct directory now. And let's go ahead and run this. So it's going to ask me for my name. So that right there, this part is a result of this print right here and what print specifically does is print this whatever it is in this argument out here to the screen but it doesn't put a line feed at the end it keeps it on the same line then the next thing that happens is this gets get is triggered and that's what actually gets my input and gives me a cursor to input something so i input it and then we get the output where it prints the hello this prints an extra line that's this line right here that's a line or a new line character and then it prints off this next statement and that results in this statement and finally we have that extra space here the line so that's basically what this program does and specifically what this little gets does now we have a, like i said a couple other constructs here then we have this equal here this is called the assignment operator it assigns the value of this method to this variable so name in this case is a variable another language construct so we call this method it goes off, it does its thing, it comes back with a value, it returns something, a string in our case, and it assigns it to the name variable. And up to this point, we haven't used name, so it's just a variable holding a value, and 
are not having any value before we use it here, but now it has a value of whatever we typed in, and we can use that elsewhere in a program to contain that. And we'll talk more about variables in depth, and we'll talk about all these things more in depth in other videos. The last thing I want to point out is here I used a method call where I said, got the length of name, so I got the length of this string here, this string variable, got the length of it, and then I said, change that to a string. So this little method call here means change to a string. And, and if you look at some of the references I'll point out in other videos, you'll see all these different method calls related to strings and other things so you can figure out how to do things. So I actually embedded this method call inside of my argument, and the end result is it gives me this 3, which is the length of my name. And there's I actually put an extra space on the end there. That's probably what happened there. So. That's a little bit about basic constructs in Ruby.